Hey there, Erwin here again, and with the incursion on its way from the automatons, I thought it'd be a good time to talk to you about my 5 best tips for combating them directly on Difficulty 9 in Helldivers 2. Now, I've made a significant amount of content around the stealth aspect of the game previously, which is all very effective against the bots. However, these tips are going to be focused on being more combat effective to help you win more direct engagements, as stealth gameplay is not for everyone, and there are times when you are forced to fight. So, let's get into it. My number one tip is going to be how to properly avoid being shot. And no, it's not going to be something as simple as telling you to take cover. You know how to take cover. What I'm going to tell you is not to just use cover, but be mobile as well. Your movement in Helldivers 2 solely decides if you live or die on the battlefield. So what do I mean exactly? When taking peeks at the enemy, you want to consider the enemy's firing pattern. Every automaton has a built-in firing pattern with an internal cooldown between its volleys meaning you want to time your peaks between these. The Heavy Devastator's Gatling Volley has a very specific beginning and end point, with a very small window in between to take a shot at it. The Rocket Devastator and the Rocket Hulk, as another example, in a similar way, send out volleys with more sizable periods of vulnerability between for you to take advantage of. Firefights against the automatons without trading shots is imperative to your success. So to summarize, when peeking from cover, Always take shots between enemy volleys with confidence, knowing that they will not be able to shoot you back during this time. Practicing playing around these timings will see your gameplay improve substantially. Well, what if you don't have the luxury of cover? That's going to bring us to our second tip. When taking fire from the bots with no cover available, this comes back to the idea that we need to be mobile to be alive. Make sure to keep moving against the bots at a 90 degree angle or as close to it as possible to avoid incoming rocket fire. You'll still be taking frequent hits from the lasers, but every rocket will miss you as the enemy does not lead their shots against you, meaning you have a significantly higher chance to walk out of no man's land alive. Additionally, when fighting rocket devastators specifically while out of cover, you can combine these two tips to strafe at a 90 degree angle avoiding the rockets, then take them down during the rocket's cooldown period while out of cover. Both of these tips are going to function far better running armor on the lighter side, keep in mind, as it's difficult to be mobile while looking like the Michelin Man. Alright, tip number three. We're going to quickly be talking about your primary weapon choice and what makes a primary strong against this faction. Every single primary in Helldivers 2 can handle light bots well enough, so how well they can dispatch this fodder should not be high on your priority list for your primary selection. What we want to consider is what else can our primary do for us. There are essentially two major factors to consider here, armor penetration value and stagger. To this end, the majority of the enemy forces is made up of devastators on difficulty 9, so we want medium penetration as our baseline. Yes, you can still headshot them with light penetrating weapons, however this also requires these enemies to be facing you directly, not a situation we actually want to be in. You'll have a much easier time generally if you don't necessarily need those headshots to defeat the majority of your enemies and instead just deal more damage for doing so. It's for this reason that the Plasma One Scorcher stands as the undisputed king in this field as it's able to dismantle every bot in the game including the tanks, hulks, and cannon turrets from the back with how its explosive AoE around the bullet's point of impact damages enemies through medium armor and at the same time registers as explosive damage. The next to consider is going to be Stagger. Stagger can be an extremely helpful tool, as any enemy taking fire from a weapon with this property is simply unable to fight back. The Plaz one lacks this quality, but the Slugger sure doesn't. With a recent buff to its ammo economy, this weapon is a top tier choice against the bots, as any shot fired that isn't fatal will prevent whatever you are shooting from returning fire. In comparison to the Plaz one, we gave up our effectiveness against the backs of tanks, hulks, and towers for the Stagger property. A reasonable trade-off, which in my mind makes these two options fairly equal. The Plaz Punisher is a new merger of these two concepts, both staggering and penetrating through the same targets the Plaz 1 can in exchange for its odd grenade launcher type firing behavior. This though can also be a benefit against the automatons as well, as the arc allows you to fire at enemies from safety behind cover at times. These are the types of qualities that you want to keep in mind as our arsenal develops into the future of Helldivers 2 as the power of medium penetration and stagger are here to stay, even as new weapons release. Obviously, you should run whatever primary you enjoy most, as, at its core, even on Helldive, this game is not so incredibly difficult that you must use the weapons that are most successful. I'm simply saying the easiest time will definitely be had by those bringing medium penetration, stagger, or both against the bots.
Tip number four, keep an eye on your map and always be creating more space as needed when you see the bots pushing up on your flank. The very moment the bots have a direct line of sight on you without any cover, you are very likely to die, unlike with the bugs who moving up on your flank is more or less just a minor surprise. The bots cannot be allowed to get the jump on you or it will get ugly very quickly. To this end, continually be checking your map during the firefight to make sure no one else is moving up on your flanks. If they are, always make sure to properly reposition before engaging them. And don't forget to communicate with your teammates when you spot enemies moving like this, because the chances are pretty high that they're too swept up in the gunfight to notice it coming. Our next tip is going to be to properly spread out when taking cover, as the automatons have a very hard time focusing on multiple targets at once. Each pack of enemies is very often laser focused on just one player at a time, meaning if you spread out properly, you can cover each other as they pin your allies down. Shifting the enemy's focus around your team until you have the upper hand is an especially useful trick when a pack is too large for you to get shots out in between their staggered internal cooldowns, effectively leaving you suppressed. Make sure to alleviate this situation from each other as needed by swapping out who is being targeted in this way, as by making sure to never take cover behind the same piece as your allies, you will create more opportunities to utilize this tactic by doing so. As an additional tip, if you hadn't heard yet, if as the timer ends on an extraction, you leave the extraction radius of 50 meters, or if you are not within the radius at the end of an eradicate mission, the pelican will actually come in and hover the LZ, engaging the enemy until you return to it. This can be very beneficial if your extraction site is overrun, as the pelican's autocannon turret is very effective at clearing out the area for a safer extraction. And now, another helpful tip from General Brash. Era Vin's tactical tips against the automaton menace will surely save many lives for his valuable contributions to our cause. I am ordering all active Helldivers to like, comment, and subscribe to his channel. Failure to do so will result in being reassigned to Hellmire inside the Michelin Man suit. Brash tactics. Use them or die trying. That's going to be it for my automaton combat tips. I still do advise stealth and subtlety be your first line of defense against the bots, but when push comes to shove and you find yourself in these direct engagements, I hope these tips help you out. If you enjoy my content and wish to join my community where we play Helldive difficulty on the regular, see me live, or support me, the links to all of these things is down below in the description. Thank you for watching till the end, and have a wonderful day. See ya!